Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is August 8th, and that means day 220 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out the footed vase, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 220 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a facts section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode, we printed out this very cool footed vase, and our print turned out awesome. I am very happy with the results. We actually scaled this up to 125%, only 25% larger because it was already pretty good size. It's almost a G-Max size base as it is. But now it's 350 millimeters tall in build height. And we did use some of that Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of blue because I think this kind of looks like water flowing. So I wanted to use something that represented the water. So I used blue. And our G-Max 1.5 XT Plus did a stellar job on this print. We downloaded this from Thingiverse and then we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, I used a 0.2 millimeter layer height and I enacted base mode. And if you're unfamiliar with base mode, it's the single corkscrew outline printing method. Basically, your extruder will just draw a continuous line of filament and slowly rise up until it finishes the model. We also used four top layers on this print and we ran this out at 60 millimeters per second. It took about seven and a half hours to print. And with all those settings, our little footed vase or big footed vase, I should say, turned out perfect. I am super happy with the results. This is a very, very clean print. This is a very, very cool model too. I love this design. It really does look like flowing water. And there are no blobs, no globs. There are no layer shifts or layer skips. There's no sign of under extrusion whatsoever. And this is a very cool looking vase. I definitely wanted to G-Max size it, but as soon as I dropped it down on the print bed and I saw that it was already about 300 millimeters, I just added another 50 millimeters to make it 350 millimeters tall because that's more of a G-Max size print. And like I said, I am very happy with the results. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can download and print this one yourself. And definitely check this one out. This is such a cool design. It really does look like flowing water. And I think with the right amount of perimeters and maybe even a little bit larger, this would be a very functional item. Well, that about wraps it up for day 220 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.